Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a lower limb Doppler case, that is chronic venous insufficiency with varicose veins and venous thrombosis. A 52 years old male patient came with left leg pain and swelling. There are multiple dilated superficial veins with overlying discoloration also. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Let's start with the right one. This is the right saphenofemoral junction and you can see a significant amount of reflux of around 2.2 seconds during the Valsalva maneuver indicating severely incompetent valve. Here is the right long saphenous vein at the saphenofemoral junction. These are the right long saphenous vein measurements at different levels. The main vein diameter is within normal limit. These are the common femoral and superficial femoral veins which also show flow reflux. These are the right leg perforators but not dilated. The right saphenopopliteal junction also shows significant reflux on Valsalva maneuver. The time was around 2.5 seconds which is very high. We did some augmentation test and it suggests no deep venous thrombosis on the right leg. Now let's jump into the left one. This is the left saphenofemoral junction and you can see a very high reflux of around 3.1 seconds during Valsalva. This is the left long saphenous vein at the saphenofemoral junction. During our scan we saw multiple prominent left superficial inguinal lymph nodes. These are the diameter of long saphenous vein at different levels. If you compare it with the right one, the left long saphenous vein is slightly dilated than the right one. The left saphenopopliteal junction also shows significant reflux. We have checked the left perforators and they look dilated. This is the largest perforator and it was around 7 mm. We have checked the spectrum and these perforators also show bidirectional flow indicating it to be incompetent. We did the augmentation test and it suggests there is no deep venous thrombosis on left leg. But we want to go for the superficial vessels now. Here you can see multiple dilated tortuous superficial vessels along the long saphenous territory that is the medial side of the leg. You can see some echoes within. This part of the dilated vessels, that is the varicose veins, are compressible. Here is the measurement, they are around 7 to 8 mm. Here is the short saphenous territory of the left leg and you still can see some dilated tortuous superficial veins here. We have checked the flow and these lateral aspect veins were compressible. Now let's jump into the long saphenous vein again and you can see a posterior thigh tributary of the long saphenous vein showing heterogeneous low level internal echoes. The vein is dilated and tortuous. During examination we saw that as non-compressible. So this posterior thigh tributary is having venous thrombosis. These thrombi are quite echogenic indicating it to be a chronic thrombus. You can see these dilated tortuous veins with luminal heterogeneous echoes. Here you can see the picture of the posterior thigh tributary that is dilated tortuous superficial vein with internal echoes indicating venous thrombosis. Here's again the picture and you can see the lateral thigh dilated veins that is the short saphenous tributary varicose veins and this is the posterior thigh tributary of the long saphenous vein which is showing internal thrombus. You can see there is no flow within on Doppler. Here is a combined picture with a slight panoramic view and you can see this is the intact lumen. This is the tributary of the long saphenous vein which is showing internal thrombosis. Again another picture of the thrombus filled tributary of the long saphenous vein. Another picture you can see some round shaped vessels indicating the tortuosity of the vein with internal thrombi. So let's summarize. 
Bilateral severely incompetent saphenofemoral and saphenopopliteal junctions are noted along with dilated incompetent left leg perforators suggesting it to be a case of chronic venous insufficiency. There are dilated and tortuous superficial veins along both long and short saphenous territories of the left lower limb more prominent below the knee indicating varicose veins. Heterogeneous low-level echoes are seen within a dilated tortuous non-compressible posterior thigh tributary of the left long saphenous vein suggesting venous thrombosis. There was no deep venous thrombosis fortunately. Prominent left inguinal lymph nodes are also seen. Now the take-home message. In case of long-standing varicose veins, thrombus within the superficial and deep veins is not uncommon. So don't forget to check them when you get them. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.